Our meteorologist Andrew Shipley here. Okay, I spent the first 48 Christmases of my life in the upper Midwest, and I know a lot of people are saying this one's really cold yes. as we're approaching records, but it's okay. Would, it's fine. It, would, it can be jarring, though, after an entire spring and summer of 80, 85, 90. Well, as you think about it, every day this month, other than three days, mm -hmm. we were above normal. So that yeah. kind of put things in perspective. I was also on the beach last week. Oh, sure. That, so, I think we were talking about this, like December 11th and 12th, saying if the month ended today, this would be like the hottest on record. Oh, absolutely. It would be the... Apart. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. It fell apart. It's just been, it's just been crazy this year, uh, all the different things that we've dealt with. Uh, take a look at temperatures, though. Right now, uh, we are sitting at uh, 42 degrees there in Punta Gorda, 45 in Fort Myers, 46 in Bonita Springs. How about 46 down in Golden Gate, 41 uh, uh, right now in Arcadia and to Palm Dale. Let's take a look at those feels like temperatures there. 34 right now. What it feels like in Arcadia. Yeah, chilly temperatures. 36 in Palm Dale. 37 in Kaluiston. 43 in Immokalee. 41 it feels like. Benita Springs and, and Golden Gate. Everglades City. Port Charlotte. Northport. 36. Yeah, it's chilly out there. Let's take a look at the temperatures in the next couple hours as we continue to cool things off. Uh, getting down to 39 degrees. That average temperature across southwest Florida by 5 o'clock clock in the morning. Ultimately, I think we're going to get down about 36 here in Cape Coral, Fort Myers, but some of our friends in the north below freezing tonight. Take a look at that. Arcadia, 31 degrees tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock, waking up 39 down in Naples, Everglades City. It's going to be a chilly, chilly night for us. We do have a freeze warning for DeSoto County because of those temperatures getting below freezing. Also do a freeze watch in Glades County. That goes until 10 o'clock in the morning. How about uh, the winds overnight? Not going to be a major, major deal, but still going to be breezy out of the north gusting about 15 to 20 miles an hour. So that means we need to watch that wind chill. Take a look at wind chills as we get into the about 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, it's going to feel like uh, 34 degrees in Fort Myers, 32 in the Cape, about 27 out in Arcadia, 29 Englewood. Uh, and yes, definitely a cold start to Christmas morning. We do have wind chill advisories. They start at 2 o'clock in the morning till 10 a.m. in Glades, Henry, and Collier County. And that's when we do expect that peak chill in the air. But the chill's going to be in the air. It's going to be all day. Looking at 40s and 50s out there, a high of only 49 in Arcadia tomorrow. About 51, Punta Gorda, Cape Coral, Fort Myers, 53 down in Naples. North winds about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Let's walk you through the day. Here we're going to keep those clouds in the forecast. We're also going to see the chance for maybe a few sprinkles, especially down in Collier County and up along the coastline, and that just makes it even more fun uh, for your Christmas Day. Maybe just stay inside, enjoy the time with your family, uh, unwrap those gifts in the morning, and enjoy yourself uh, a nice Christmas meal with your family. But uh, looking ahead, though, here we are looking at another chilly day there on Monday, 59 degrees, still mostly cloudy skies in the forecast. Finally, get the clouds out of here on Tuesday as we start to warm the temperatures back up. We're going 67 there Tuesday. Tuesday, and then back into the 80s starting Thursday, and that continues through New Year's weekend.